here to shift gears from PDS4 back to PDS3 and data that you can actually get to today. I'm from the Planetary Data Systems Geosciences now, so we deal with the data primarily from the inner planets, Moon, Mercury, Mars, and uh, uh, Venus. What I want to talk about is a tool we put together, and this is one of those collection of tools that users can use to find and download the data they want. The science community uses these kind of tools. We focus on, like I said, the geosciences and the inner planet tools. The Orbital Data Explorer focuses on data taken from orbital spacecraft. Uh, right now, for Moon, Mercury, and Mars, you'll see later we will actually talk about Venus a bit. We allow you to search the data, search across multiple nodes, select the data you want, look at the data, understand what you're looking at, and then eventually download it through a variety of different tools we offer. The way the Orbital Data Explorer works, as the spacecraft generates the data, this data is placed in one of many uh, data uh, PDS data nodes. Not just the primary data nodes, there are several, in addition, there are several uh, data nodes which hold data specifically for LROC or high rise or one of these other instruments. So you can see there are a whole lot of data. If you're wanting to search and look at a specific area, let's say on the surface of Mars, it becomes a challenge to go to each of these data nodes to pick out the data. That's what the Orbital Data Node, Orbital Data Explorer, is designed to address. It gives you the ability to find that information. What we do is we scan this data as it comes in, we process it into a uh, metadata database that then we present to the user. As part of that, we go through some normalization of the data, particularly on things like location data, where you might have different planetary coordinates, different longi positive longitudes. We process that, we normalize it, so you can do cross-mission, cross-instrument searches on the surface of, of Mars that will get you the right data without having to worry about, well, this older data set was a positive longitude west data set rather than a positive longitude east data set. Right now, the Orbital Data Explorer supports the following projects. Big ones are MRO, METS, some Odyssey, uh, LRO, and Messenger. We addition have older data sets like Clementine and Lunar Prospector, as well as the Lunar Orbital Camera and the Viking Orbital Camera. We even have some of the Gen Beyond data sets in the system. So you can do cross mission searches against all of those. Okay, so I'm going to just walk through some of the features. I am going to be doing a demonstration later today, and as I'll mention later, you can always set up a time with me to go through this individually or in small groups so that you can learn how to find the information you want. We provide first a dynamics form that allows you to search against mission instruments and product types. So different instruments have different product types, and they may be RDRs, and they may be more basic EERs. This tool allows you to search against all of them. In addition, you can search against location. Not just lat long, we also support the search against features. So if you know you're looking for a crater on the moon, you can use this tool to search for products that cover that crater on the moon. Uh, and landing sites in some cases. There are ways to search against the time, the observation time. You say you only want to search for data that is taken during this month. We also, in some cases, support actual mission coordinated observations where the mission itself shot multiple instruments at a target on the surface. And this allows you to actually go and say, I want to see all the instrument coordinated data for that target that was shot. This is primarily, currently supports the Mars Reconnaissance Orbital Mission. But you can do ad hoc cross instrument searches just by using location and multiple uh, product types. So you can do this even if the instrument didn't do something specific. And finally, we allow product-specific searches. Many of the products have uh, product IDs that have a lot of information embedded in them, and you can take advantage of that in these searches. And all of these searches can be combined at once. What you get back is a list of the data products. Here you see the list of data products, sometimes with thumbnails, your observation times. And if you select one of these, you can now look at this, this product and really understand whether this is what you want. A lot of these products get very large. And because they're large, you don't want to have to just download everything and then spend time trying to figure out. What we're trying to do here is allow you to figure out what you want before you go through the process of downloading. So you have browse imagery, you have 
Uh, metadata, the number of tabs, you can actually look at the PDS label. This is particularly useful if you have a product that has an attached label. What it means, that means if the label is actually part of the main product file. And some of these product files, some of these image product files can be very large. You hate to have to download the entire image just to look in the label to see if this is the kind of product you want. And we allow you to look at that. You can look at related products, the source products that we use to generate this product, or products that were uh, taken at the same time through some sort of coordinated observation. Finally, look at map topics. You can look at various documentation associated, whether it's with the archive or elsewhere. We also provide links. ODE does not exist in a vacuum. What we do is allow you to look at this data. Many of these data products can be found at multiple sites. They can be found in multiple tools. And we provide, for example, for the PRISM data here, you can actually go to the PRISM site and pull up the data through the PRISM site. Or you'll see in the next talk about pilot, we provide a link to the pilot uh, database and website to look at the pilot coordinate, you know, the pilot observation footprints. Finally, you can look at the actual product file. So this gives you a way to really dig through the product before you download it. We also recently added a map system, which allows you to do the same kind of searches only using a uh, map system. Obviously, this only works for products that have an actual uh, lo location. Not all the products have location. You can look at their product footprints. You can look at the various types of products. You can even set the same kind of filtering that you did on the earlier forms in terms of time and product IDs. This is a typical mapping web system, so you can zoom in, do all those kind of things. Finally, if you select an area, you can look at it right here and select the ones you want. In addition, this does operate like a GIS tool, which means you can adjust these layers, adjust the transparency, do whatever it takes to do an online search of your data. Finally, we provide a couple of ways to actually get the data. Now that you've found what you want, you really want to know how to get it. First is you can simply just click on the, the files. But remember, even some of you may not realize this, products, PDS products can actually be made up of multiple files. There are label files, there's data files, there are files that describe the uh, catalog or the, the, the projections, there are browse images, so there can be multiple files. We allow you to actually add the entire product to a cart, just like a shopping cart. You can add it from this page, you can add it individually you know, from this list. Put these in the cart and download those products. Now, in addition, the cart allows you to get the ancillary data that goes with it, maybe housekeeping data, documentation. In effect, this allows you to generate an on-the-fly mini archive of data that you want, not trying to get this entire you know, multi-gigabyte uh, archives. Now, often now I've been talking about searching at the product level, PDS products. We also provide tools, in some cases, for searching at the actual data level, the granular data level. This is really important when you have products that are organized in like, a long time. Here's an example. Lola organizes their shots. The Lola is the laser altimeter on the, large, on the reconnaissance order. It organizes its data as, in a time sequence of shots on the ground. Now, that's great. But if you're a scientist, you may only want to study a small area of the moon. Right now, if you just have to get that out of those PDS products, you have to download hundreds, actually quite, in this case, often thousands of these PDS files. Dig through them just to find the points in your area. Our granular search tools actually do this for you. You can go in and specify the area, and you can get out just those points you want in a variety of forms, ASCII tables, in the images, or shape files to do GIS. Right now, we support Paula, Lola, and Diviner. As you'll see in a minute, we're also going to be expanding that out in the next uh, year or so. So what's new? I don't know how many of you have used ODE over the last year. We've done a number of upgrades. The primary one is this map search tool. If you haven't used the map search tool in ODE in the last year, you're using, you remember the old tool, which was not very good. This one is complete search uh, retrieval capability in an online GIS. In addition, we've added a number of new data sets. The big one we've added here just within the last week is obviously Bemis. Obviously, you can use the Bemis site. This just gives you a way to look for Bemis data in conjunction with other data. Uh, but we've also added some Chandrayaan and some of these older data sets, the Lunar Orbiter Camera and the Viking Orbiter Camera. So where are we going? The next big step, and I don't know how many of you were into uh, 
research in Venus. But the next big step is the release of a, of a fourth version of ODE that will support the Venus data. The first release is the Magellan data. We'll be expanding that over time to other data sets. This is in peer review right now, a science peer review. We're getting lots of inputs from users. The nice thing about this is we'll incorporate those inputs for the Venus site. We're also going to be incorporating those into the rest of the ODE sites. For example, one of the uh, requests, currently ODE, you can specify a feature on, on the planet and get all the data products that cover that feature. What a number of scientists or what we've been asked is to allow you to take a product and tell them what features this product actually covers. So this backward compatible uh, search uh, is going to be part of the new, uh, not just ODE Venus, but other parts of ODE. The other big one is we're doing a major upgrade of the granular observation tool to add, add new data sets, um, larger query areas, uh, new parameters, new output types that work better with tools, because many of these, these data can overwhelm some of our tools right now. So we've been working with users over the last two years to develop this. All right, so I think I'm going to get right on time here. Uh, we do have the hands-on demonstration. I think it's over in your room A uh, after lunch. Um, in addition, since I know some of you would like to see the, the talks after lunch, I'm available to demonstrate this, to sit down and talk to anybody about finding data, using data, that would like to discuss it with you. You can either just grab it while we're walking around or pray or send me an email. Finally, this is the web address for ODE. I almost forgot to put that in, uh, so you can go off and look at that anytime you want. Questions?